Have you or a loved one been emotionally injured in an accident involving a Delaney brand toaster oven specifically made in May of 2019? If you answer yes, you may be entitled to compensation. The Delaney brand toaster oven specifically from May of 2019 is reported to burn bread and toast and a setting of three, which we know deep in our hearts is not a setting that should burn bread. Bagels, ruined, toast, destroyed. These are not things that you or your family members should be dealing with. My name is Bruce Bowley, and I guarantee that your toast will never be burned again. Call my law office now at 888-RIT-BREAD. That's 888-R-I-P-B-R-E-D. Again, that's 888-747-2733. Perfect toast is worth fighting for. I'm Bruce Bowley, the Burnt Bread Attorney. Call my law offices today. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. My name is Ian. This, of course, is Learn How to Edit Stuff. And that fake ad you just saw was created in a brand new model inside of Runway called Act One, which is part of the Gen 3 Alpha universe. And it works by providing a video to drive a character animation. It is very cool. All you need to do is record a video of yourself, 30 seconds or less, in halfway decent lighting conditions, and then provide the model with an image. It could be real or generated, and then the model will do the rest of the heavy lifting. And uh, yeah, it's obviously pretty cool, pretty rapid advancement in creative technology. We're all here for it. We're all very excited for it. Like and subscribe to the channel if you are also excited about the technological advancements with AI and filmmaking like I am. Anyways, I obviously had to figure out a way to leverage this technology in a different way than what it was intended for. So I, of course, thought about it from a compositing angle. So I generated the initial character on a green screen, then I upscaled it to add some more detail, cut him out in Photoshop, and then placed him in a wide frame, medium frame, and close up frame. Then I wrote a super quick script and recorded my input videos. Bagels, ruined, toast, destroyed. From there, I uploaded the clips into Act 1 and provided a few of the character framings for each take so I could have a wide range of focal lengths and performances to choose from. Have you or a loved one been emotionally injured in an accident involving a Delaney brand toaster oven specifically made in May of 2019? If you answered yes, you may be entitled to compensation. Then it was into After Effects to key out the green, drop him on a background, add some camera shake, and then I whipped up some graphics that would help add to and carry the story. Obviously, the whole idea for this video was based on those like horrible law commercials that you see on like really late night TV at like three in the morning, just genuinely terrible, horrible production quality. Why do those exist in real life? I have no idea, but there was plenty of reference material out there for me to look at. Then a quick final pass on audio, added some film grain and film damage, and ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Bowley, the burnt bread attorney, was born. Guys, this whole process from start to finish took me less than three hours. I don't know if you understand how crazy that is to say out loud. Less than three hours to get that fully finished piece. The most time consuming part of the entire thing was actually waiting for After Effects to key out the green screen and render my sequences. Just the character creation and the animation itself took me less than an hour. And that is insane because if I was gonna do this in any sort of traditional capacity, that part of the process, just the character creation and animation would have taken me several days or like a week at the very least before I started animating. So like we are going from days and weeks to hours and minutes which is insane. We live in we live in really wild times. Like and subscribe for wild times. As always, I encourage you to think outside the box when it comes to creative AI technology. These tools are literally that. They are tools to help enhance and augment your own imagination and your own storytelling abilities. So think outside the box of how you can leverage this and how you can build it into a unique workflow that works for the story that you want to tell. And who knows? Maybe the next commercial is going to be Bruce Bowley's Berry Bowls. You say acai, I say akai. Come on down and give them a try. Oof, that was... Uh, wow, that could have been better, but we're gonna go with it. And thank you for reminding me, I skipped a step in the creation process of this video. I took all of the raw audio from all of my video takes and I just ran that through speech to speech so I could create the uh, character voice for Bruce Bowley. You can do that right inside of Runway in the generative audio tool, go to enhance speech, drop your audio there, pick a character voice, and then you're good to go. Anyways, Act 1 is available right now. If you go to Runway, go to the Generative Video tool, click on Act 1, upload a video, upload a character image, and you are off to the races and creating something awesome. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for dropping a comment in the comment section below, giving this video a thumbs up, and of course, subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. My name is Ian. This is Learn How to Edit Stuff, and I will see you in the next one.